What's up YouTube? It is time for yet another trip to the thrift. Not really sure if you guys can tell from the in-car experience since it is so bright, but I'm not filming outside my house because I do not want you guys to be able to triangulate my exact location and find my address and come and kill me or some shit. But anyways, I have a tattoo appointment today at 4 o'clock, so I have a little bit over an hour, so I figured I'd hit two thrift stores. And I've been finding such heat lately that I'm really hoping that my good fortune comes through again today and then I continue to find some vintage fire. So the first find is this Adidas jersey right here. It's for $2.80. It says extra small, but unless this thing is extra elongated, it does not seem like an extra small at all. This actually fits quite large on me in terms of length. All praise the thrift Jesus because we really need to find some vintage heat today. Damn, we got some hippie muscle car riding presidential shit. Damn, we got some knitted polo Ralph Lauren right here for $2.40. I know I'm always showing off Canadian apparel, but this is a really sick Canadian hockey crew neck right here as you guys can see you got the Canada hockey player embroidered right there on the front and if you look on the sleeve and you got some really dope Canadian sleeve embroidery and shit it seems like I've been finding a lot of really dope champion apparel as you guys can see you got this speckle crew neck right here vintage champion two dollars and eighty cents yes I'm gonna cop check out this waffle fleece right here starter for a dollar forty found a really clean Reebok fleece right here I'm not quite sure what the size is but based off my visual inspection, it looks like it's a XXXL. Stacks on deck, SOD money gang. Got a Colts zip up hoodie right here. This is $4.80 NFL apparel. But based off how the Patriots whooped that ass, I highly doubt that these will be selling anytime soon. They still have this Tommy Hilfiger jacket for $6.80. It's not really in my style. It is Tommy and it does feel really good. So upon further inspection, I noticed the Tabasco sauce stain right here on the front of the crew neck. True, it is not that visible, but I'm kind of upset, and uh, I'm still probably gonna cop it because I actually wanted this for myself. Good park job, not so good parking job. I'm not even like halfway in the fucking parking space. We have this really dope racing champions jacket right here, Chevrolet. As you guys can see, this thing is super sick. Chevrolet down the sleeve. Man, this thing is so dope. How is this in California and not picked up already? If this had like pictures of Tacoma all over, I would definitely cop this. This is really dope. As you guys can hear in the background, there's a baby crying because he's crying at this awesome t-shirt because it's so sick. But as you guys can see, the Golden Gate Bridge and shit. It was really dope. San Francisco 49ers Pro Line pullover right here from Champion. Of course it is 49ers gear so you know they're taxing. You got the uh, champion logo and pro line right there embroidered. $20 though, how sad, this thing is super sick. I was getting some. Head, getting, getting some head. Found this Manchester United Nike soccer jersey. Pretty dope and it'd only be $3.50. Peep the Mickey Mouse poncho though. It's actually pretty dope J. Crew crew neck right here. This thing is super sick. It actually feels super soft too. I don't know what the material is, but it does not feel like a normal cotton. And as you guys can see, there's no ribbing on the bottom, so this would be really good for layering. What's up, YouTube? I am in Fairfield, California, A. Eh? And of course, you guessed it, I'm about to hit some thrift stores because anytime I hit a new city, if I got some extra time, I am going to hit some local thrifts. I had a medical appointment this morning, so I had to come out here and basically the the summary of that medical appointment is that my hearing is all frickered up but whatever it doesn't matter I'm about to hit the thrift center so if you are in Fairfield California or from Fairfield California um, and you are familiar with this place and you know where I'm at I would recommend it but I haven't been in yet so uh, I'll go in and see and I will let you guys know if it's a place you should worry about checking out 30% off everything now that's always good we have some fubu fuego right here if you guys know Paul Cantu got me the uh, silver and blue fubu sleeveless baseball jersey right here they have the canary yellow and navy waterway right here this thing is super sick but it's an extra extra large so i will not be copping i don't really stay on reddit like that but i know a lot of people that do and it's definitely a website that a lot of people fuck with i didn't know they were making apparel now but yeah pretty dope found some barack heat right here you got obama right here with his hands I don't know, doing whatever, and you got all these creepy hands reaching up and like releasing doves into the air or some shit. It says hope and peace. And this thing is extremely creepy and inspirational at the exact same time, so I'm definitely gonna cop. Oh, at the thrift store filling up Pokedexes and shit. It's Ralph though, for 4.22. Damn, this bright orange Cabela's button up is actually kind of flame. Like literally, it's flame. It's actually, it looks orange, but it's actually on fire. But sadly, it has a hole in the back. Uh oh, we got more Columbia right here. The quality of Columbia is just on point. It's thirteen dollars, so not too bad. But um, I'm probably not gonna cop it just because I've been copping a lot of vintage Columbia lately. So it's gotta be like a pretty crazy color for me to cop. We got a vintage Reebok Florida Gators pullover right here, and as you guys can see, it's got like the sleeve stripes right here with the Reebok emblem. Pretty nice 
quality, honestly. It's a little small though, so I'm probably not gonna get it. It's only five dollars. Here's a perfect condition 49ers pullover right here for 13 bucks. Whoo, and you got the side zips, high fashion vintage, but broken zippers are not high fashion. If you are gangbanging at all and you plan to go to heaven anytime in the near future, this is a must cop for you. All right, guys, so not only were the prices right in Thrift Center, but it seems like they have a lot of sales. Like today's a random ass day and then a 50% off sale. So I got that creepy yet inspirational Obama tee for one buck. I didn't really find a whole lot there, but it's definitely a place that if I lived in Fairfield, I would definitely check out on a regular basis to see when they get some heat because they definitely have some dope potential items and a couple items that if you're from the area, you probably would have caught. Anyways, I am on my way back home, but I am going to stop in Vacaville at the Nike outlet, see if I find any heat there and uh, also see if there's any thrifts in that area as well. The Nike outlet did not have anything. They were just charging too much and... Uh, on the Nike outlets, I always try to like save money and not spend like ridiculous amounts of money on a shoe. But if you're only taking 20 or 30 bucks off, that deal is just not worthwhile to me. But I am at Savers now, so hopefully I find some heat. I personally love Savers. In Washington, we have Value Village, but Value Village, Savers, tomato, tomato. Is it weird that the moment I saw this sign, I instantly wished that I was over 55 years old just so I could get 20% off? It literally says woman right on the tag. Damn, is vintage Zara a thing now? Damn, you can never go wrong with vintage Christmas sweaters. I might have to cop this, actually. As you guys can see, they got reindeer just galloping all over the front below the snowfall. We got the Tampa Bay Rays right here. Majestic-ass baseball jersey. Kind of want to get this just so I can wear it inside of an Apple store and start giving people advice on how to fix their Mac and shit. I've never seen them wear red ones before, though. Uh-oh, little Patriots hoodie. I wonder who's going to win the Super Bowl. Even though by the time I post this, the Super Bowl has probably already been played and the victor has been announced. Normally, I don't really wear wool, but this is a really, really good quality J. Crew wool crew neck sweater. It's 100% lamb's wool, if you guys look right there. Damn, and made in Hong Kong. This thing is actually pretty dope. I might have to cop it if there's no moth holes or anything like that. This thing right here is the softest feeling jacket I've ever felt. Pretty cool Kansas City Chiefs lightweight jacket. Never been to Kansas City, but I cheese. Sometimes I feel like they purposely put it on the uh, hanger like half ass to like fuck with me to like make it fall off. Look how fucking, this thing's just like barely on it. This is some pretty nice vintage Puma in that 70s porn star colorway. Uh oh, we have this really, really heavy elongated jacket in the mystic gold colorway. It looks like it just got invulnerability on Halo 2 or some shit. It sure seems like I've been seeing a lot of Patriots gear as of late. Found another polo piece right here. Perfect condition polo by Ralph Lauren in that periwinkle colorway. All right, so for the first piece that is from a previous trip to the thrift, we have this really dope Manchester United Nike soccer jersey. And you might be saying to yourself, hey, Jacob, I actually saw that in this trip to the thrift. Well, that's because the actual clip is from when I went thrifting with my friend Lamont on Martin Luther King Day. And uh, basically, I forgot to include it in the recap, so I just removed it from that video and put it in this video. And uh, yeah, basically really, really dope, perfect condition, pristine to be exact. It's marked at eight bucks, but I actually got it for four. Keeping with the soccer jersey theme, we have this really dope Royal Spanish Football Federation Adidas soccer jersey in the royal gold colorway. You got these really dope mesh accents along the armpit, which is really sick. It's in pristine condition and it's marked at six bucks, but I do not remember what I actually paid for it because normally I only cop stuff when it's on sale, but I know it was six dollars or less. Now getting into some of the items from this trip to the thrift, we have this really, really dope vintage champion crew neck. This thing is in perfect perfect condition. There was some sort of Tabasco-like sauce stain on the front, but I actually used some stain remover and got that out. So now it is in perfect condition. It has champion embroidered on the left breast. It also has the champion logo embroidered on the left sleeve. Size medium vintage cloth champion. I got this for $2.80, which was a really good deal because this is going to go in my personal collection. I'm really, really stoked on this find. Speaking of dope crew neck sweater pickups, we have this sick J Crew crew neck. This thing is absolutely amazing. The quality is on point. And what's really dope is that this like heathered gray right here is something that like a lot of companies are doing from Urban Outfitters, Represent, etc. But the quality of this is actually on point. It's almost like a tech fleece. And on the inside, it has this like furry material. I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there, but it's super, super soft. It feels absolutely orgasmic when you wear it. Another thing that's really dope about this sweater right here is the fact that there's no ribbing on the bottom or the cuffs. J. Crew is a really good quality brand, high fashion as fuck. So if you see them in the thrifts, definitely, definitely get them if you like what you see. Do not worry about quality at all when it comes to J. Crew because their stuff is always on point. And 
this will definitely be an item that will be in some outfit of the days in the future. You guys will definitely see how I style this and layer with this because this thing is super sick. I'm not sure how much that piece costs, but I do see a lot of J. Crew sweaters going anywhere from $70 to $200 on their site. This one right here I see on their site for $70. Bucks. I copped this. This is a lamb wool J. Crew sweater. And normally I don't really get wool because it's not really that comfortable. It's super, super itchy to me. But this one right here is super soft. It's absolutely amazing and it's in perfect condition. So I figured I might as well cop it. It was $8 and like I said, normally on the site it goes for $70. Even if I don't keep it, I'll probably resell it on eBay or something. But as you guys can see, J. Crew lamb wool, 100%, made in Hong Kong. Really dope pickup for 8 bucks. Last up for the sweaters, we have this ridiculous Christmas sweater right here. As you guys can see, the whipped cream cream colorway at the bottom has no marks on it. It's in perfect condition. Then you have these galloping reindeer with the Christmas trees and the snowfall and sky and just all sorts of Christmas spirit knitted into this sweater. Personally, I had to cop this because I love copping dope Christmas sweaters. During the Christmas holidays, I like to get in the spirit of the holidays. And on top of that, you can never have enough dope Christmas sweaters for ugly Christmas sweater parties. And the last piece that I copped was this ridiculous, creepy, yet inspirational Obama tee, as you guys can see right here. I'm pretty sure the theme of this t-shirt is actually that Obama is leaning right now because it's in this coating purple colorway. And the bottom of this t-shirt is extra trippy. As you guys can see, you have all these hands like reaching up from the bottom of the tee with these doves flying out. It says hope and peace in this somewhat trippy font with these little curls and shit. But the main reason I had to cop this was because my good friend Paul Cantu just got this ridiculous Obama family tee in Houston, I believe. And basically he's going to come to Washington and visit me this summer, hopefully. So when he does, I had to get this so we can get all presidential on the YouTube thrifting game. But yeah, guys, that is it for the thrift recap. Like I mentioned earlier, make sure you guys add me on Snapchat. And also, if you do not already follow Follow me on Instagram, which is at the Star Life. Both are actually at the Star Life, so I'm gonna leave the Snapchat one up here and the Instagram one down here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure you guys take a second to hit that like button. It really does help me out. Also, leave a comment below on what pieces you guys liked. And if you're not already subscribed, definitely make sure to do that. Hit that subscribe button so you stay tuned with my latest content. Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you once again. As always, keep living the Star Life.